Patients for Meals on Wheels from Gilstrap and Kearns. <laughs> but i got to try to fit this over the, uh, the headphones. <laughs> You did it. D- Diane, what am I wearing here? You are wearing what looks like a submarine sandwich on your head. Oh, that's good because I'm mean- hungry. <laughs> Colin, please tell me you're getting stills. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are a great sport. You really yeah, are. Yes, hey, Look at that. Cool. I, I, feel really like, I feel like the Italian Carmen Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a certain age to get that Carmen reference. Carmen Miranda, yeah. By you are a great sport. You got to be a certain age to get that uh, that reference there. Well, you brought food for us, too. Dora. I did. Yeah, yours did. is on your head. <laughs> <laughs> it smells, I smell garlic. Here. <laughs> Some prosciutto. We are so happy to be here. Thanks for the time. Um, Monday, April the 24th, all day at Jersey Mike's at the Commons. Mm-hmm. They're going to hold a fundraiser for Berkeley County Meals on wheels and that's why you're, you're laughing while you look at me down <laughs> it's hard to keep a straight face <laughs> and um so all day monday if you are wanting to buy a sub or anything on their menu 15 mm-hmm. percent of all um monies made that day will go to berkeley county meals on wheels wow that's incredible so we're Beautiful. really excited about it i will be out there during the lunch rush and uh, hope to meet a lot of great people and um having Time to be on your radio station this morning's made my day. <laughs> <laughs> it does for a lot of people. <laughs> so, a lo- In different ways. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of yeah. you that are not familiar with Berkeley County Meals on Wheels, we serve a thousand meals a week to homebound seniors. Like cake, just like this. Cake, yes, cake. We have a wonderful baker and she bakes cakes oh, and who's your baker? Her name is Jamie Shank. Jamie. Chef, yes. Chef Shank. <laughs> and she uh, does all kinds of brownies oh, and cookies, so yes, and wonderful things. Um, we are happy to say that we are now uh, working with Ors Farm and Kitchens Orchard and Spring Valley and buying fresh produce mm-hmm. and fresh vegetables wow. and fruits so that our salads look so wonderful now. And uh, we're going to have fresh local produce from local West Virginia farmers. I am not wearing a salad on my head. <laughs> That's next week. Unless it has vinegar and oil. You probably had egg on your face before, but maybe not salad on your head. I do like egg. <laughs> and I'd like to uh, explain something. I'm holding what looks like it is a magnetic uh, car decal that mm-hmm. our drivers uh use on their cars and they're very expensive to buy but um the money that we raise <laughs> my sub fell off my head <laughs> <laughs> the money we raise on monday at um at jersey mike's will go toward buying these magnetic car oh, nice. decals and it helps our drivers because they make lots of stops and it also um helps our community so if they know someone that's in need of a uh, home delivered meal that uh, can't cook for themselves or safely you know cook sure for themselves we we have our phone number on there so folks that um rely on us live alone and are isolated so we are often just the only person they see in a day so monday through friday we go through the entire county and deliver hot meals to them who is eligible to get meals on wheels Doc? if you live in berkeley county west virginia and you are homebound you don't have transportation to get groceries or you're um immobile and can't cook for yourself safely we are you're you're definitely eligible and this helps folks stay home um, in their own home independently which is huge because that daily well check that we give them uh, helps them feel safe as Mm -hmm. well very nice mr kern so say someone is homebound where they they can't cook for themselves they can't stand up they can't um they they have a walker um or they just they can't get to the store to get groceries, but yet they have a vehicle that they can take themselves to a doctor's office. It's okay. We can still help them. So they're Absolutely. still considered eligible. Absolutely. It's simply call 304-263-6622. We'll take an application over the phone. It's that simple. There is a nominal fee for our meals because we're a nonprofit and we have to buy the food. The food... Um, each meal cost us as a nonprofit about six dollars, mm-hmm. but we only charge between two and four dollars per meal. And they come out how often? Every day, the meals mm-hmm. every day around noon, and a it, hot meal. Uh, yes, one hot meal a day. One or? hot meal a day, and along with that hot meal is a bag with a wonderful dessert, a salad, a Cake, drink, cookies. Yes, yeah, so they're getting a full meal. We have a board certified West Virginia. Um, dietitian that reviews our menu mm-hmm. so we know that they're getting 
they're great nutrition for the day. So you're getting all these meals out. So I'm sure you um, use volunteers for delivery or they Absolutely. paid staff. Or... No, um, all of our drivers, and we have 120 of them, wow. are volunteers. Wow. We only have four part-time employees, including myself. The rest are volunteer kitchen helpers and packers. It's incredible. Yes, and we start early in the morning at 645 at King's Daughter's Court Kitchen, and the meals are prepared fresh daily. Then the drivers are out right now as we speak, delivering to the entire county. On an annual basis, how many meals do you provide? 52,000. 50. My goodness. Woohoo! Yes, and there's a great demand now because the county's growing. It's there's a large senior population mm -hmm. and just the cost of food. Oh yeah. You know? So it's ridiculous. And yes. can this be for somebody who is, is just in a temporary issue? Like he just broke his leg and can't get to the grocery store? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We have many people that are just transitioning from a hospital stay and they just need a few weeks mm -hmm. of help and then they, they're on their own. Then we have other folks that need it seven days a week. We also deliver on Friday a hot meal and then two extra meals for the weekend. So I'm, I'm assuming these uh, fundraisers, like you're having at Jersey Mike's, um, that, that money goes to offset the difference between what you're, you're asking for the person receiving and what it actually costs. Yes, um, absolutely. Um, all the donations we received throughout the year and grants we receive is definitely to offset the meal costs because every meal that goes out, which is 1000 a week, um, we lose money on basically, but um, we're happy to serve our community and we've been doing so for 52 years. Congratulations. Diane Waldron, our guest here from Meals on Wheels on the uh, 24th, next Monday, when you go to Jersey Mike's Subs at, uh, in the uh, Commons, you get uh, an opportunity to order your lunch there and donate 15%. To Meals on Wheels, because whatever you pay for your sub, Jersey Mike's has given 15% of that to Meals on Wheels. So and I tell you, just you wearing that breadhead today uh, makes my day. It's a new nickname for me. Bre <laughs> breadhead. That, breadhead. That, stick. <laughs> that might you're, stick. You're a good sport, Rob. Yeah. Yes, you are. So would, for people that... Um, I would that like are... a ciabatta bun. But if I have a choice, I, I, a ciabatta bun would be awesome. <laughs> so for those of the people that are not co-hosts and have the opportunity to donate to today, how can people get donations to the Meals on Wheels if they're not going to Jersey Mike's? And we encourage people to. You're going to get rewarded multiple times. But how can they donate? Thank you for asking that. They can simply mail us a check um, at 116 East King Street, Martinsburg, West Virginia, 25401. They could go on our website, and there's a donate button, and they can do that through PayPal. And if they have any questions about where their money is going, I would love to um, offer anyone that wants to come tour our kitchen, talk to me in person. Give me a call. I'm happy. I'm honored to show you what we do every day in that kitchen. Mm. Wow. Di, how many volunteers do you need? We need lots of volunteers all the time. It's ongoing. So if you don't want to commit to driving, uh, we would ask you to um, pack in the kitchen, which is a, only a two-hour commitment once a month. Mm -hmm. You can call me. If you want to help in the kitchen, it's a two-hour commitment once a month. If you want to drive, it's about a three, three-and-a-half-hour commitment once a month. And so just call me at 304-263-6622. We'll be happy to talk to you and go over all the specifics. We would train you so you're not out on your own the first time. And you're going to love it because we have drivers that have been with us three decades. Three decades. That's great participation. Yes. Wow. Where do you get a free breadhead, by the way? You're the only one that has it. You're special. Wow, that's He's nice. special. That's nice. Yeah. He's been uh, told that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have. I plan to wear that on Monday. If anybody wants to come out and wear it, you're welcome to. Oh, nice. You yeah. could have, like maybe charge $20 to wear it for 20 Ooh, minutes. Ooh, that's there a whole new donation, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. Di, great to see you again. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for coming in. And again, how do people get in touch with Meals on Wheels? Give us a call at 304 263 6622. Or you could go to our uh, website, which is berkeleycountymealsonwheels.com. 